Long touted as a nation that welcomes immigration and is ripe with opportunity, Canada may now have an issue retaining recent arrivals. More immigrants are moving away from Canada in recent years. And data from Statistics Canada shows 15% of immigrants leave Canada within 20 years of arriving. A 2023 report from the Conference Board of Canada found that issues with housing and everyday affordability have led to an onward emigration rate of more than 30% higher than historical averages. So joining us this morning from Toronto with a first-hand look at the challenges facing recent newcomers is Eustinus Stankus. He's an international student from Lithuania and a PhD candidate at the University of Toronto. Welcome. Thank you for, for having me. So research shows that many new arrivals struggle with affordability, in particular with finding housing. I, I want to hear from you firsthand. What was it like to try and find accommodation once he landed in Canada? Well, uh, um, it, once you land, uh, you just uh, do the natural thing. You look at the listings, what's available. And uh, I must say, uh, first of all, it's uh, immediately clear, clear that uh, the prices are very high. And uh, uh, most of the time, it's uh, above uh, grad students' budget. Uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, you, you need to spend a lot of time just walking around and seeing what places are like. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, I guess. Um, there's uh, there's just not too much uh, that is uh, affordable. You've said that you may be moving elsewhere other than Canada, other than staying here in this country after you finished your studies. Why would it be easier to live somewhere else? Well, I guess maybe it's uh, slightly related to the specificity, specificities, I'm sorry, of uh, the job market in academia. There's just uh, longer wait times uh, and uh, the opportunities uh, don't come up uh, as, uh, as often. So uh, it just doesn't make much sense to be on the job market and uh, pay the rent prices and the cost of living uh, in Toronto. Uh, and uh, for me specifically, I'm doing research on civil war in Myanmar, so it makes perfect sense that I would just relocate locate temporarily uh, to Thailand while I uh, work on my dissertation, work on my research, and uh, then simultaneously look for uh, uh, job opportunities back in Canada as well as perhaps in the U.S. Uh, I'm always curious when I speak to people who've come to this country in recent years, do you feel like what you were told about Canada matched what you were experiencing once you landed here? Well, I have to say that, uh, um, generally speaking, if uh, uh, you know we go beyond the uh, real estate prices in Toronto, I'd say uh, Canada has exceeded my expectations, and uh, certainly the case for University of Toronto as well. Um, it's, uh, it's. I feel like uh, I've lived in in several countries, really, uh, maybe five or six, uh, if. Uh, uh, if we count, and I have to say that uh, it's uh, it's very welcoming, and uh, um, the infrastructure is great. Healthcare system obviously is great, and uh, I feel it's very easy to make uh, Canada your home, uh, but uh, not necessarily uh, how to say um, in terms of housing. Hmm. So you can make Canada your home, you just can't find or afford a home, which makes it challenging to stay. Uh, what have you heard from other people who have immigrated to Canada and they've shared their experiences with you? What, have, what stands out to you? Um, my circle, uh, my social circle is rather limited. Uh, uh, a lot of my friends are international students like myself, and uh, I see that uh, there's a tendency that uh, uh, a, a greater a greater half of them uh, would uh, move back to their country of origin or maybe um, a, a, a country in the global south as myself as soon as they have uh, fulfilled the necessary academic requirements at the university um, so um, um, I'd say the experiences are, are somewhat similar to mine uh, I, f I feel uh, people uh, people <clears throat> Uh, prefer to uh, maybe um, uh, go to the, the, the environment where they feel there's a, either more certainty or just a kind of uh, the affordability is better. Well, it's a fascinating change in conversation from even, I would say, 50 years ago when my parents came and they could only see future that they wanted to build in this country that people feel that they can't see one here. Hey, Houston, thank you for your conversation today. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you for having me. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.